Theme the Night to Showcase Black Excellence, the NAACP Awards, is an annual ceremony that is held to promote the music, television, theater, and literature, and so much more, with the first award actually being given in 1967 and the first taping of the event in 1987. So we're gonna start with Zendaya. She actually had two different looks for the night with the first look being a Valentino look as well as her second look being a vintage Balmain. And I actually love both of these looks. I feel like she's definitely a fashion girl. Um, love the jewelry. It definitely gives me I am rich and I'm doing this and I'm gonna step out at this event. She is definitely top tier. So we're gonna put her in that main attraction section for both looks. Next we have Mary J. Blige and she's wearing Tony Ward and this look is so much better than look she had for the last award show. I feel like this is how you step up. This is how you do that blonde. This is how you make sure your dress is cut in the right areas. It hugs your body right. I feel like this is actually going to be that main attraction as well. She looked amazing. Next, we have Jennifer Hudson. I am not sure who she's wearing, and I actually had to go to her um, social media just to pull that. Um, actually, let me let me go back really quickly, and I can definitely tell you if she, especially if she doesn't post as much, I'll be able to find it because the award show was not that that long ago, <laughs> um, and it looks like. Yeah, she posts a lot, you guys. I'm trying to dig, dig, dig and see. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I asked, These are for you, Miss Franklin. Okay. So, yeah, she didn't state. I just had to double check. She did not state who she is wearing. Um, and I feel like with her look, this is mid. It looks good on her, but I don't know. I don't know. It's something about it. I can't say her hair and makeup looks great, but it's definitely not one of my favorites for the night. So she's in the limo. Um, she's in the limo. Let me know what you guys thought of her look. Next, we have Regina King, and she is in Oscar de la Renta. Hopefully I said that correctly, or Oscar de la Renta. And she is also wearing Stuart shoes with uh irene jewels and um okay that's given a list of who the photographers were okay i told y'all i'm trying to get better with this i loved her look the brownish bronze yeah i was about to say brownish gold it's bronze the bronze dress is gorgeous it looks so great on her skin with the shoes her jewelry, it's not doing too much. So we have a lot of people that is the main attraction so far tonight. That is crazy, but she's definitely going on the main attraction list. <laughs> I feel like this is the first time um, I can say that there's a lot of people that's on that list. Um, next we have, we have Shoniko Shandai. And um, I actually like, her look normally I would feel like when you have the ruffles and the dramaticness the way the chiffon and um everything is put together it can easily swallow you and make everything just not look to get like look good it'll make it clash but I feel like I actually like it and she got the curly hair going very simple she's in all purple which I don't think purple is a hard color to wear. I just don't wear purple as often. Purple is hard to find. But <laughs> the right purple is hard to find. But I definitely loved the chiffon and everything on the uh, dress. Definitely love the chiffon on the dress. So I will say she is high. She's going to go high on that list. Next, we have Kerry Washington. And she's in Zuhair Murad. And I like the dress. Does it wow me the way the other looks have? No, it's kind of giving me that same feel that I got when I was looking at Jennifer Hudson's look. 
Um, it's not that the dress is bad. It's just when you look at everything else that was going on for the night, it was, it just didn't really, you know, had a spark, you know? Um, so she's going to go on the mid list. It's going to be mid. Next we have Megan Good. I am not sure who she's wearing. I literally had to dig to find her photos just to see who she was wearing. Um, and go to different sites because I was like, maybe they're going to have it and say who she's wearing on another one. Um, I like her look. Is it like the rest of them? No. <laughs> it still falls into that same category as um, Kerry Washington for me. Um, so because of that and what I've seen for the rest of the night, she is going to be in a limo. You know, it's going to be a mid look. Next, we have Amber Stevens West. And I'm not sure who she's wearing, actually. But um, makeup is great. Her skin looks great. I am not a fan of the dress. Um, I feel like it's cool to have the asymmetrical shoulder thing going on. But I feel like that mixed with the other side is just a little off. So I'll put her on the lower tier. Then we have Bianca Lawson. I am also not sure who she's wearing, but this is an example of how your outfit can e easily swallow you and make you look shorter or smaller than what you already are. Did not care for this look. Makeup, skin looks great. Hair is great, but the outfit altogether is just wrong. So she is going to go on the bottom tier. Next, we have Marseille Martin, and she is in Dolce & Gabbana. I had to go back and dig just to see who she was wearing, but I definitely love this look. This is how you pull something together for an event and you step out. She is the definitely the main attraction. I feel like whoever did her makeup, they did perfect. I love how simple but plush the earrings are. I love that they chose to pull her hair up so it doesn't take away from the dress. So because of that, she is on the main attraction list. Next, we have Nick Ash, and I'm not sure who he's wearing, but I like how different the texture is on his suit. Um, you can definitely tell he did a t-shirt underneath, but um, that's fine. And then I love his boots they are different and i just want to know how do you wear those boots because they're split like really deep like i wonder how you wear those so i feel like that's definitely unique so i will put him on the main attraction list it's a lot of people that's on that main attraction list but um for me i would say that the best dress goes to marseille martin um, I, I I feel like I don't have to fully explain. <laughs> you guys understand why she is best dressed. And then worst dressed. It is. Hmm. I would say worst dress will go to Bianca Lawson. Um, I feel like it just. It just makes her look shorter. It doesn't, the dress isn't, well, it's not even a dress. The two-piece set is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. So um, for that, she will be on my worst dress look. So be sure to check out some of our previous videos that covers um, a lot of the different looks for different awards show. And be on the lookout because um, I do plan to do one for the AMAs. Um, and be on the lookout because I am going to do one for the Grammys 2022. <laughs>